Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Since patch 14 just dropped, I saw that they gave some love to the veteran once again. So I had to see what I can come up with. Today, I'm bringing you a very simple and effective build, fixed on doing high damage utilizing crit chance as well as bleed stacks. I have run several auric missions and damnation missions with this build, and it has been one of the most fun builds I think I've ever made for my veteran so far. So without wasting too much of your time, I'm going to show you the weapons I'm using for the job. I'm using the combat knife with perks leaning towards melee hit crit chance and maximum damage to unyielding enemies. With this weapon, our build will grant us an almost invincible state since we're able to attack so quickly and apply our blessings. The two blessings I chose were Lacerate which throws stacks of bleed on a non-weak spot hit, and Mercy Killer which does increased weak spot damage against enemies with bleed stacks. If you can dodge well, these blessings make this weapon a crowd control king. This also brings down monstrosities extremely quickly, and with our secondary we can take out elites with no issues. So recently I got a comment in one of my videos asking how I felt about the revolver. And well, I've always loved it, it's flashy and it holds a ton of power, although to be honest, it's been a while since I've used it, so I wanted to incorporate it into this build. I went with damage to maniacs and range damage to specialists as my perks as this is solely going to be meant to take down any big threat that we see from a distance. Our little pocket sniper also has two blessings that will expand its capabilities exponentially. Hand cannon can do up to 80% rendering on a critical hit, which is great for any armored enemy types. But to buff that even further, I'm using Crucian Roulette. This gives up to 6% crit chance for each round spent in our weapon. So the lower you get in shots, that crit chance will spike up, allowing the final shot to be the kill shot against the bigger target. As for my curios, I leaned heavily into toughness, with a bit of health as well. Toughness is what drives this build forward and you'll see why when we talk about the talent tree in a minute. I also went with resistance to gunners and snipers as they're the only two that I usually have a problem with. I went with another buff to my toughness as well as the regen speed for it as well. As long as you go with toughness regen speed for at least two of your curios, you should be alright to pick whatever you'd like for the other perks. So just like I've done before, I'm going to show off my talent tree really quickly and then I'm going to go over the build itself and why I find it extremely viable in almost any situation. First off, I chose Infiltrate as it allows us to stay alive longer with a complete replenish of our toughness and gives us 8 seconds in stealth. I've had this already come in clutch many times when it comes to taking down on yielding enemies or saving teammates. The two ability modifiers that I felt like were a no-brainer here were Close Quarters Kill Zone and Surprise Attack. They both give us 30% damage each when we leave stealth. This can drain monstrosities incredibly quickly, but it will also save you and your team in a pinch. I went with Crack Grenades because of how useful they are in the higher difficulties. Most of the time I usually allow my grenades to do the heavy lifting whenever I spot an elite from range, but with this build I opted in for maximizing the use of them. With Grenadier, we can hold an extra grenade in case of emergencies, but just in case that wasn't enough. I went with Demolition Stockpile, which replenishes a grenade every 60 seconds, followed up by Grenade Tinkerer, which increases the damage of all of our grenades by 50%. This can be extremely useful whenever a monstrosity comes in or a pack of elites start pushing your team. And another passive I like is Demolition Team, which gives us 5% chance of replenishing a grenade on any elite or specialist kill. For my aura, I went with Fire Team, as it gives everyone on the squad 3% more damage when in coherency. With our aura, we can push out another passive called Close Order Drill, which can give up to 33% toughness damage reduction in full coherency. Since our build is mainly focused on causing damage throughout maximizing our crit chance, I went with Desperado. This gives us a 10% boost to our melee crit hit chance and gives our weapon a 25% melee finesse bonus. With Reciprocity, we gain a 5% critical hit chance for 8 seconds with each successful dodge. This also stacks up to 5 times, and like I said before, this build can demolish a lot of things as long as you can dodge well. I chose Trench Fighter Drill to help aid us on our melee attack speed, granting us an additional 15%. And with Onslaught, we can apply stacks of Rending to an enemy upon hitting that single target. Ideally though, this is only meant for heavy elites or monstrosities. Our toughness is a main focus of this build for a reason. The passives grant us multiple boosts as long as we can maintain a good amount. With Iron Will we gain 50% reduced toughness damage if we are above 75% toughness. And with Confirmed Kill we can replenish 25% toughness easily with a Specialist or Elite Kill. These two passives are what keep us going when others start to panic. Duck and Dive grants us 30% stamina on avoiding any range attack 
anytime we're sprinting, dodging, or sliding. I went with Bring It Down as it helps aid our build towards doing more damage to Ogrens and monstrosities. With Tactical Awareness, it gives us a 6 second cooldown for each specialist killed, giving us infiltrate much quicker. As for our operative modifiers, I went with Critical Hit Chance, Boost to our Health, Toughness and Stamina, Suppression, and Toughness Damage Reduction. I'll be honest, this build has yet to fail me. I've saved numerous teammates so far with this and been able to hold my own when it comes to clearing out hordes or taking on monstrosities. Overall, this has been one of the most fun builds that I've made that prides itself on keeping the intensity up while juggling your team management. If you enjoy running and gunning along with feeling invincible, then I think you'll love this build. I just want to say shout out to all my revolver lovers out there. Anyways, I'm going to go look for another match to show this off in, but in case you forgot, my name is Zen and I hope to talk to you again real soon. See ya. Shake you up! Quit your belly ache! Taking them other ways.
She needs bodyguards in her all truth be told. Never seen it. 